Welcome back guys. In this part, we will be displaying our posts and categories in the front end. Okay. So this is where we left off and this is the index page of our home uh, home site. Okay, let me quickly start my server. So npm start and <clears throat> with this started uh, so my backend is running now and I can go to the port number 3000 okay so it's localhost 3000 okay. so this is the dummy content that we currently have although we don't have the image uh, upload method set up yet but we will be using a dummy or a placeholder image for that okay let me quickly find a placeholder image. Place uh, image placeholder. You can use anything you want. And let's choose not this one. I'm gonna use a different different site. Yeah, place img.com. That's an easy one. So it's a uh, 750 by 300. So 750 by 300. Let's use tech. Okay, this is the URL image. And I'm gonna copy this in my notepad. So we're gonna replace few of the of this boilerplate. Okay. So we want to repeat this blog post. Okay. And I'm gonna remove all the other blog post I'll only keep one and we'll repeat it okay over and over again the site widget we have categories okay so let's deal with with that later on let's work with the post so for the for to, do, to display the post we have to first fetch the post and send it to the view okay and for that we will use our home controller or default controller and this is the index page that that we are rendering okay let's quickly import our post model and category model from our model files okay require models post model and the post similarly I'll also import the category model Okay. Alright. All right. So for the time being, I'm gonna uh, make it as a async method that I don't have to use a ten block. I'll, what I'll do, I'll simply run uh, get all the posts. Okay. So post dot find. That's it. So as soon as I have the post, I'll send it to my view. Simple, right? Now we have to loop through the posts here. So I'm gonna put a, each block here, and we have posts. So for each post, gonna loop through the content, and here we will have the title. Okay. And here we would have the description, I believe. So if we check my post model, we have title, description, okay, description, read more and let's say post it on creation date yep and let me put my name here admin okay i'm gonna save this and go back to the page and for the image I'm gonna replace this with my placeholder okay 
so like that okay so it's connected go back refresh okay so it says title number all right what happened so something is wrong here let me check that resolve tank did it work uh, let's, let's see that oh I believe I'm missing one square bracket here all right uh, let me quickly restart the server from CLI npm start all right it's listening now refresh okay so we have all the posts book here with the content here and the placeholder image okay this is the time format that is shown by default and we gonna replace these categories too so I'm gonna back head back to my default controller and create another constant categories await category dot find okay categories categories right go back to index where we have categories here and we want to list or uh, render the list items okay so I'm going to remove the second block here. I don't need that. And I'm going to remove the list items. So I'm going to loop through here with hash each categories. Okay, I'm going to cut it and paste it inside the block. And here I'm going to put the category title or yeah category title okay all right so let's save it go back to the browser and here you should see our categories there we go okay perfect So with this, we I'm gonna end the this part, and in the next uh, video, we will be working on the file upload method. Okay. So till then, enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.